I would challenge you to think of one thing worth accomplishing that does not require courage. Courage is that force that allows us to overcome obstacles, to push through adversity, to rise above our fears. There is no greatness that's not rooted in courage. That is a fact. And so the call to courage comes to all of us in life. The question is, are you going to answer it? And if you won't, who will? So in today's episode, I wanted to talk about the role of courage in our lives, how to be more courageous. And I wanted to let you know, you can pre-order my new book, Courage is Calling, until September 28th at dailystoic.com slash pre-order. Then it'll be available everywhere books are sold. It's my first book in a four book series on the four stoic virtues. I think you're really gonna like it. Check it out. One of the things you realize when you do something scary or big, when you come out of the other side of it, is you realize that you didn't actually need to be so scared. I remember when I was dropping out of college, I thought, if this doesn't work out, my life is over. Then I did it and I realized, oh man, I could have gone back to school at any time. This didn't matter at all. So one of the ways to be more courageous is to do courageous things. And actually Aristotle says this, he says, you know, a builder builds things and that's how you become a builder. To become courageous and brave, you have to do courageous things. You make courage a habit, you take the risks, you force yourself to speak up, to say what you think, to do what other people are afraid to do. And then this is how in the big moments, in the moments that it really matters, you're able to step forward because it's part of your nature. It's become who you are. It's the default that you have. So the idea is that courage is calling, it's always there. The question is, are you brave enough to answer? One of the most poorly understood concepts in the world is agency. Agency is your sense or your ability to create change to control your own destiny. At the essence of Stoicism is a belief in one's agency. Yes, there's all the things that we don't control that are not up to us, but the things that are up to us, that's where our agency is, that's where we focus on. We have the courage to embrace our own agency, the Stoics say. Mark Cirillo says, if it's humanly possible, know that you can do it. You have to believe that you have the ability to change things, that you have the ability to control the direction of your life, that you have the ability to improve, to grow, to change, to learn, because if you don't believe that, why the hell are you even waking up in the morning? There's a Hebrew saying that I love, it's from the 1800s, but he goes, the world is a narrow bridge and the important thing is to not be afraid. The, the point is when you're walking on a narrow balance beam or a narrow bridge, the one thing you can't do is be scared because it'll mess you up and you'll fall. And I think that's sort of the predicament we're in. It's not fair, nobody chose it, it's not our fault, but you gotta cross this bridge now and this fear but courage is going to be important, right? And that's one of those sort of core stoic virtues. Theodore Roosevelt considers inviting Booker T. Washington to the White House, the, the first black man to ever be allowed to dine as a guest at the White House. But he hesitates. He hesitates because he thinks for a second about the political consequences. He thinks about the controversy. He thinks about the backlash. He thinks even about some of his own Southern relatives. But then Theodore Roosevelt writes that precisely because he hesitated, he felt ashamed and he knew that he had to do it. And I think there's something about hesitation that is showing us that this is actually precisely the thing that we need to do. When the Stoics talk about courage, when they talk about this idea that courage is calling, we should expect that sometimes we're gonna hesitate, sometimes we're gonna let it ring a few times, but it's precisely when we are most hesitant, when we are afraid, that we are getting really strong, important information that this is precisely the thing that we should do and that this is precisely the direction that we should go. If there is one excuse that does not age well, it's, I was afraid. I was worried about me. I didn't want to be affected. This is why for the Stoics, courage is such an essential virtue. You can't be afraid. There's a reason that the most repeated phrase in the Bible is be not afraid. It also appears in the Odyssey like a dozen times too. You can't be afraid. You have to face what you're afraid of. Fear, like any other emotion to the Stoics, is something you work through. You work through it with logic, with strength, with perseverance. You have to decide who's in charge, your fear or you your rational mind or your emotional mind. You have to understand being afraid is not something people are going to accept in the future, which is why you have to be courageous. The one thing Socrates said that he knew for certain was that we cannot remain as we are, meaning we have to change, we can always improve, 
we have to grow. Marcus Aurelius says to keep on being the person you've been is like being a chewed up, torn up gladiator in the games, just begging to come back tomorrow, despite the fact that they're losing, despite the fact that it's not working. It takes, it takes courage to change, to, to admit that you have a problem, to, to focus on where you can grow, to focus on where you can need to be made better. So courage isn't just running into battle or a, a burning building or being a whistleblower. It's also looking yourself in the mirror, seeing where you have problems, seeing where you can be made better, and then focusing on getting better there, on embracing change, and being brave enough to do that. You can't be a coward. You just cannot be a coward. The first virtue for the Stokes is courage. It's the virtue on which all the other virtues depend. Doing the right thing requires courage. What is the point of wisdom if it's not to give you insight as to what to be courageous about? So you could be brave, so you could go out and be fearless in whatever it is that you do. And whatever it is that you do, I promise you, it will be better the less motivated, the less informed by fear that you are. This is my new book, Courage is Calling, Fortune Favors the Brave. I spent the last two years on it. It's the first book in a four book series I'm doing on the Cardinal Virtues. All of these books go into writing something like this. I think you should buy it because I think it's my best book. But if you want signed copies or if you want a signed actual page from the manuscript that I did while I was writing it, you can get that super limited edition. Obviously, we're not making more of them. You can't buy them anywhere. You can get that if you pre-order the book now before it comes out at the end of September. They're going to dailystoic.com slash pre-order.